So this is the review of Grey Door. Just like the White Door it's a ROM customizer, this one is promising to bring iOS 9 look and features onto your iOS 5.1 device like the first generation iPad I have here. It's still in a very early stage and not suitable for daily usage at the version of Grey Door 9 developer preview. Its story starts getting twisted at the time you first press the home button. When you finally make it to the desktop, your iPad will be as close to iOS 9 as it's ever going to get, featuring iOS 9 icons and themed applications, as well as transparent dialog windows. Your device is going to be jailbroken, and one thing that can be noticed is the first time successfully ported stock applications like weather, clock, calculator, compass, etc saying that they are still unmodified iPhone versions. It has a new iOS 9 lookalike transparent notification center which seems to have a real blur. However, it's occasionally grabbing screenshots from the background faking the effect and probably affecting the performance of the iPad as well. Talking about performance as a freshly restored iPad seems to go as fast as it used to go, with frequent crashing on many of the stock applications as well as the App Store, which is something I will say usual for the first generation iPad but not with that high frequency of the crashing. Overall, it's a great project that needs to go further as bugs can still be found everywhere, especially broken graphics and broken application installations and multitasking. To download it, go to graydor.com and follow the instructions. Don't forget that you might need a special iTunes version called iTunes 32464 which can be found at Graydor's website, in case you use a Windows system which is 64 bits. Anyways, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and comment below.